we have already seen that what is citizen citizenship and the types of citizenship and acquisition of citizenship and then single citizenship and global citizenship and rights and duties of citizen and qualities of a good citizen so we have seen that already okay now laws of indian citizenship laws of indian citizenship okay so there are three so renunciation termination deprivation so first of all first one is voluntarily renoun renouncing indian citizenship after acquiring the citizenship of another country which means what when a person after acquiring the citizenship of another country gives up his indian citizenship okay so loss of loss of indian citizenship so loss of indian citizenship first one is renunciation okay which means what voluntarily so avungalave voluntarily renounced indian citizenship after acquiring the citizenship of another country so after the after the acquiring after getting the citizenship of another country they voluntarily renouncing the indian citizenship okay so when a person after acquiring the citizenship of another country gives up the indian citizenship second one is termination on acquiring the citizenship of another country the person automatically ceases to be indian citizen yeah this is a termination because yeah the person is on the person is of the another citizen another country citizen so person is of the citizen of another country which means they sh yeah he should not be citizen of india so his citizenship must be terminated okay so when an indian citizen suppose i am in this so i am going to uh, when an indian citizen voluntarily acquires the citizenship of another country he automatically ceases to be an indian citizen third one is deprivation deprivation is compulsory compulsory term termination okay so on the basis of order on the basis of based of an order of the government of india in case of acquiring citizenship of india by fraud false representation or being disloyal to the constitution this is a compulsory termination so the citizenship is deprived on the basis of an order of the government of india in cases involving the acquisition of indian citizenship by fraud false representation or being disloyal to the constitution so in the mari tappana velai ga fraud false representation disloyal to the constitution the mari panumbodhu government uh, government ordered to cancel that citizenship okay that is a, so there are three laws of indian citizenship first one is renunciation second one is termination third one is deprivation renunciation means voluntarily so voluntarily na vandu cancel pandren okay so voluntarily so when a person after acquiring the citizenship of another country gives up this indian citizenship okay and then termination termination is when an indian citizen voluntarily acquires the citizenship of another country he automatically ceases to be a indian citizen deprivation deprivation means this is the order of the government so our government ordered to cancel his citizenship when that person involves fraud false representation or being disloyal to the constitution okay so yeah that's it so first of all what is citizen 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 so a citizen is a person who enjoys rights and privileges while at the same time representing the laws of the country and fulfilling his obligation and responsibilities a citizenship is a it's a granting of the right to reside legally in the country for as long as he wishes yeah okay so which of the following uh, is not the condition for becoming the citizen of india so birth acquiring property descent naturalization so acquiring property who is called the first citizen of india who is called the first citizen of india the president so president is called the first citizen of india 
so the president is called first citizen of india citizens of a state enjoy full civil and political rights so citizens only citizen of that state enjoy full civil and political rights so our indian constitution provides only for single citizenship our indian constitution provides only for single citizenship okay so there are named uh, there are two types of citizen one is natural citizen another one is naturalized citizen natural citizen means what citizens by birth citizen by birth and uh, naturalized citizen mean acquiring so applying for the citizenship and then what are the rights and duties fundamental rights right to vote right to hold public offices right to become member of parliament and state legislature what are the duties of the citizen yeah paying taxes paying taxes to the government honestly and respecting rights to obey the rules and obey the belief and opinions of, of others defending the country obey the state and local laws okay and the qualities of good citizen loyalty to the constitution obey laws contribution to the society community perform the civic duty quality of goodness and justice respecting diversity yeah that's it so what do you know about the citizenship act of 1955 this act is to provide for the acquisition and termination of indian citizenship the citizenship act of 1955 prescribes five ways of acquiring citizenship they are what are the birth descent registration naturalization and incorporation of territory